Hey guys, happy Monday. It is March 8th. It is, what time is it? 10, 10 in the morning, and I think I'm done. I think I'm done at least for now. Uh, let's see, what did I do really quick? Um, I had a swing trade with GME calls out of the money. I had the 190 calls uh, expiring at the end of this week that I bought on Friday. I caught them here thinking that they were going to retest. I, I caught them here because there was a little pop on volume. Sorry. Okay, see, you can see that there was a little volume increase and the price also went up. So I thought that we were headed for this uh, resistance. Um, no, no, I was wrong. This fell, but um, if you recall from my latest video, GME, I said that had been it has been performing well. I don't think it's a good company, but it has been performing well when the market was going down. Um, I mean, it's been it's been manipulated. That's that's how I read it, right? and I don't think I'm wrong, right? It's been artificially kept up, and I think it will dump. Um, so it's kind of a musical chair sort of thing, you know, like you don't want to be the, you know, left holding the, <laughs> the bag or however you want to put it. So um, I did think that it had the potential to gap up over the weekend. The, um, you know, they, they appointed somebody. Uh, oh, gosh. Hold on one second. Let me check the name. See if I recall the name. Cohen, right. Uh, they, uh, they appointed... Um, one of Chewy's uh, uh, founders, really. Um, what's the name? Ryan Cohen. There you go. Ryan Cohen was uh, the founder of Chewy.com, and that's um, the, mar the market liked those news, or the GME investors or traders liked those news. So this gapped up in the morning, or oh, pre market, really. And um, I sold right at market open. Um, as soon as the options started to trade, I set my order at the at the ask. Really, I didn't go for the bid. I I, I set it at the ask, and um, I got filled. I did move it because the ask went down a little bit, so I moved my order along with the ask. I got filled, and I got out for uh, you know like not a great gain, but a gain nonetheless. 12.36%. Um, this got up a lot. This got up a lot. But the fact that I went so far out of the money and that on Friday this thing did not go up but rather down did hurt my calls. Um, in any case, I was very happy to close this trade for a you know for a decent gain. Nothing nothing great, but it's a nice way to start the week. And um, and I decided to call it a day. Why? Because I don't see... I mean, okay, so there was a huge stimulus package passed, and that should translate into good, good news for traders, um, new money flowing into the market, and I don't see that the SPY is overly strong today. Um, the Nasdaq is red, actually, for the day. And the Dow Jones is pretty good. The Dow is pretty good, but the SPY, which is the one that I look at the most, is... Uh, here, let me show you. Let me show you. Where are you? SPY, there you go. Let's look at the daily. Right, so I was rooting... I, I was predicting um, somewhat of an uptrend. And I, no, 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 not an uptrend, sorry. A small recovery, which we got right on friday now today we're looking good but we're still in the downtrend all right i don't want to trust longs and i haven't been trading great lately so yeah i need i need a i need the spy to be a lot more clear than it is right now for the spy to be clear I want it to be out of this downtrend. Remember, I've been saying this for days, uh, maybe even weeks by now. Decreasing lows, as you can see here. Decreasing, sorry, decreasing highs. <laughs> decreasing lows. That's a textbook definition of a downtrend. 
and yeah we're still in this downtrend i don't know if today is the day when we finally break out of it maybe perhaps but the spy okay the spy is green great but we're still in a downtrend which means that longs might have a harder time working out right that combined with the fact that like i said i haven't been i, I didn't trade great for the you know like on thursday and friday my mindset wasn't really there and today i don't feel i'm a hundred percent there either so i just i just want to be safe i just want to be safe i want to take my gains uh gme which is now going up by the way um take my gains from gme i traded according to the plan that i said i was i i, I just wanted to capture the gap up i did great and um yeah now i just i was checking i was keeping an eye on square didn't give me the, the pattern that i wanted and ba also didn't give me the pattern that i wanted so why should i stick around um my mind like i said my mindset is not really there the two plays that i was looking at did not really you know align for me to take the shot so just be safe be safe call it a day um this uh, gme trade did bring me back quite nicely from my tesla loss um last week so yeah just you know i think it's time for me to close my broker and go do my taxes and tomorrow it will be you know a different day and um the market will hopefully tell me a lot more um clearly what it wants to do um are there trades to be taken today possibly possibly but um i am demanding i'm requesting complete um transparency and like i said we are in a downtrend we are if you look at these swings one swing two swings three swings like it looks like i mean if you're looking at just symmetry i wouldn't be surprised if we go down from here um do i have any reason like actual technical analysis reason to believe that we might be going down from here no no because i haven't really done my you know my analysis it's just a hunch but really for the nth time i'm just trying to be safe i'm trying to be safe i i started the week with a with an uh, an undisciplined um gain not my exit was fine but my entry wasn't great and um you know yeah i'm just gonna quit while i'm ahead okay guys all right so sorry because today's video was a lot more of a rant than anything else um or me just thinking out loud really um but you know it is what it is right okay so good good stuff i am going to call it a day go do important you know like grown-up stuff like taxes Ugh and uh i will talk to you tomorrow all right okay good luck if you're trading and have a great day everyone cheers bye